There is a last ditch effort by the Mexican government tonight to save the world's most endangered marine mammal in the Sea of Cortez. There are only about 10 vaquita porpoises left off the coast of San Felipe. As David Gofferson reports, the plan involves sinking hundreds of underwater hooks to catch the gill nets, killing the tiny mammals. On Friday, the Mexican government plans to start sinking these large cement blocks with 11-foot hooks in the Sea of Cortez in an effort to save the nearly extinct vaquita porpoise. Only about 10 of the 4-foot-long mammals are believed to exist in the waters off San Felipe. Fishermen who use gill nets to catch an illegally trafficked fish called the tatuaba are blamed for killing off the vaquita. The tiny mammals get caught in the gill nets and drown. San Felipe is about a five-hour drive from San Diego. The area where the underwater hooks will be installed is called the Zero Tolerance Zone. The underwater hooks are meant to snag the gill nets and keep them out of the vaquita area. But the plan has its skeptics. It's an untested solution. It has been put together with very little uh, scientific inputs and also very little transparencies. Andrea Crosta is the executive director of Earth League International and an expert on the vaquita. Activities at sea are important, so anti-poaching, removal of the nets, working with local communities, working with the fishermen, very important. But it's more important to investigate and destroy the Totoaba trafficking networks that have been behind this tragedy for at least 10 years. The swim bladder of the Totoaba fish can sell in China for tens of thousands of dollars, leading to a huge demand for illegal fishing with gill nets in the Sea of Cortez. So you can remove all the nets you want, you can put all the blocks you want, but as long as you don't also go after these important players, you will not solve anything. On the Chinese black market, the swim bladder of one of those tatuaba fish can cost by weight more than gold. It's made into a soup and people incorrectly believe that it can treat infertility and circulation problems. Now, David, there was an effort to establish a captive breeding program for the vaquita a few years back. What happened with that? That effort failed miserably in 2017 when a, one of those endangered vaquitas died after being captured, apparently from the stress of being captured. And thereafter, the breeding program, or the plan for one, was shut down. All right, David Gofferson reporting on the plan south of the border for us tonight. David, thank you.